Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss external loopback design from DAC to ADC and we'll demonstrate the design using a testing and verification tool that enables us to have complete flow in MATLAB itself. This is a reference design provided by Zilinx. In this design, data is played from 128K VRAM and after loopback will be captured by ADC and dumped into 128K VRAM. This design can be done through DDR as well. The BRAM has the advantage of higher speed, whereas in the DMA design, DDR memory can be used, hence more data can be used for loopback. Now we'll move on to the block design. So firstly, we'll have to download uh, the reference zip file from wherever, whatever source that you have. And from there, you need to extract the folder. I have extracted the folder. And I've changed the name. Then in the name, uh, the name was given to me 2019.1. I removed the decimal just because of naming convention. And now in this uh, folder, you need to extract this vb.xpr compressed zip file. I've already extracted it. So I'll just open it and open this Vivado project file. So we will have to wait for the project to open. Now, once the uh, Vivado screen has opened, you can open the block design. And you can check the design will already be present there in the reference example. We just need to generate bitstream. Uh, I have already generated the bitstream. Now I will explain the block diagram. In this block design, the PS is connected to. This is the VRAM uh, GPIU. And through peripheral, it is connected to this VRAM controller. For DAC, it is connected to GPIO for DAC. It is connected to VRAM controller for ADC. It is connected to just GPIO for ADC. And it is connected to the RF data converter. Now in the VRAM controller IP, this acts as a slave to the interconnect and it facilitates communication with the local VRAM. The ZCU111 platform uses the AXI4 protocol and this IP converts. When we see here, this IP converts the data in the AXI4 protocol to memory map data, which allows PS to communicate with VRAM. This VRAM controller IP is further connected to memory generator. This block is programmed using sophisticated algorithms and it is programmed for convenient access to a wide range of memory configurations. 
when we check out this VRAM memory generator, it is converting the 17-bit VRAM address provided by VRAM controller to 32-bit address so that this VRAM can easily be accessed. Now coming to the GPIO block, the PS is connected to GPIO through interconnect uh, and this GPIO acts as the enable signal for VRAM. The output of the GPIO goes to the enable of the URAM. Whenever the GPIO bit is set, the URAM can uh, receive the data. Otherwise, the URAM will not receive the data. Now, moving on to the RF data converter IP. It is also connected to the PS through peripheral. This RF data converter IP in the slave mode acts as DAC. It receives data from VRAM once the GPIO bit is set high and it repeatedly plays the data that is being received from VRAM. That is 128 KB of data. When the GPI bit for ADC is set, the ADC uh, captures the data until the GP GPIO bit for ADC is not clear. So this is how external loopback from DAC to ADC takes place in the RF SOC. The clocks for DAC and ADC are provided through external pins in the block diagram. These are the external pins through which clocks for ADC and DAC have been provided. Now coming on to the RF DAC, So in the RF DAC tile, there are two tiles and each tile has two pairs of DACs. That makes it effectively four DACs on each tile and total of eight DACs. We are using the DAC3 on DAC pair 2,3 on DAC tile 229 and the interpolation rate has been set to 2. That means the sampling rate for this ADC is the sampling rate for ZCU111 board divided by the interpolation rate. Analog output data has been set to real, which means the data that the DSC receives from VRAM will be played in the real format. Now coming to the RF ADC. The ADC0 in the ADC tile 224 has been used in this design and that has been used in the decimation mode too. That is the sampling rate for this ADC is equal to the sampling rate for ZCU111 divided by this decimation rate. The digital output data has been set to real, which means the data that the ADC receives will be converted into real and dumped into the storage unit. Hence, the real data from the transmitter is played. It remains real and in the external loopback and real data is received by the capture unit. Now coming to the clocking setup. In the custom, once uh, I custom uh, double tap this RF data converter to customize this, and now coming into this system clocking menu, the sampling rate here for DAC and ADC can be set. Without the use of this PLN, only uh, sampling frequencies above one gigahertz can be set for the ADC and more than 0 0.5 gigahertz can be set for DAC. I can show this to you. If I try to input anything under 0 point, uh, under 1 gigahertz, it does not accept it and gives me an error message which says that 0 0.9 is out of range and the minimum frequency is 1. <clears throat> Similarly, if I input anything below 0 0.5 in the DAC, it will show me the same error. The minimum frequency is 0 0.5 gigahertz. But in future, when I discuss the OFDL example, there I have set the sampling frequency for ADC and DAC to be 491.52 megahertz for the reference clock. After that, it is decimated and interpolated 
So the effective sampling rate for ADC and DSA becomes 245. So for to do that, I'll need to use this PLL. I'll enable the PLL. And once I enable the PLL, then I can use these wide range of frequencies out of which I can choose 491.52. So this is about the clocking setup. And now once this bit stream has been generated, you can just export the hardware and you will need to include the bit stream, export the hardware. And then after that, you'll need to launch the SDK. Now in the next part of the video, I will display how you can set up the SDK project. And after that, we'll build the tool. And after building the tool, we will work with the MATLAB code to make sure that we have one single MATLAB file from where we can run the entire code from uh, data generation to transmission to reception to data processing in the single MATLAB without the use of as without manual intervention to open the SDK. Thank you.